Hi, my name is Maddie. I am a post-professional student at USC, and I will be showing you today how to use grasp and technique for an Achilles tendon. I'm gonna first glove up, step one. Um, second, I already put some emollient on his, on my patient's calf. However, um, you can use cocoa butter, any spread that will help guide your tools a little bit easier. First tool I'm gonna use is GT5. This is more of a scanner tool. You'll want to keep it on the base and use the beveled edge, but you'll kind of go one direction. Um, scanning the area for any crepitus, grittiness, or muscle tightness. Um, I would also recommend flipping the opposite direction because you can feel different things from other angles and directions. For angles, I would recommend 20 to 30 degrees. Um, once I do this for two to three minutes or at least till the area is warmed up, I do generally go to the GT4. So this one's just more convex, leading to extra pressure and um, more intensity, I would say. And I make sure I make all my way down distally to the Achilles tendon. From here, I'll do more of the actual line once everything is warmed up and just very, very lightly starting to get the actual Achilles. Once I'm here and I have fully warmed up the area and everything, I would do GT3. So this, you kind of go in the very soft uh, angle so you do not hurt the patient, but just going on both edges and kind of going through the curvature of the actual Achilles ten uh, tendon, getting all those little details. I would recommend for specific injuries and Achilles uh, tendonitis doing the bottom of the foot as well, but um, it really just depends on that injury site. But let me know if you have any questions and I'll get back to you.